Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So earlier today, I saw an article about Donald Trump. This article is posted in the Washington Post. I will include a link in the description box so that you can read the article for yourself. It's a rather detailed article, and I encourage you to actually read the article. So according to the Washington Post, Donald Trump revealed highly classified information to the Russian foreign minister and a Russian ambassador. This information was provided to the United States through one of its partners, you know, one of its allies. And apparently the United States has an intelligence sharing arrangement with this particular ally. And according to these reports, this ally did not give the United States permission to share the information. And this information uh, provided details about where the information came from, what city it came from, and it deals with the Islamic State, you know, ISIS. Apparently, there's information about a a threat coming from ISIS. And Donald Trump revealed measures that the U.S. is taking. He revealed information about this threat. And essentially, this is highly classified information that has been revealed to Russia. And this is very significant for a couple of reasons. Number one, Donald Trump is already under investigation for allegedly colluding with the Russians during the elections. Donald Trump has already fired his former FBI director. You know, somebody that was investigating this allegation of possible collusion with the Russians. So this comes right after Donald Trump fires somebody who was investigating this very serious matter involving collusion with the Russians. And here you have Donald Trump providing intelligence information to Russia. This is just mind blowing, man. It's just, I mean, this man is not worthy to be president of the United States. I mean, this is a man who is driven by his ego. His ego causes him to make stupid decisions, irrational decisions. I mean, here this man is bragging about the United States uh, capabilities and in the process of bragging and boasting, this man reveals highly classified information to a hostile power, Russia. You know, although Russia is fighting against ISIS as well, As pointed out in this Washington Post article, Russia and the United States have separate interests. Russia and the United States are not allies by any stretch of the imagination. They have conflicting interests in Syria, for instance. But here you have this man who's already being scrutinized for his ties to the Russians, given the Russians highly classified information. Now, if this was um, Obama doing something like this, can you imagine what the reaction would be? Can you imagine what the Republicans would be saying about Obama, given how much they scrutinized Obama when he was in the White House? Now, those same Republicans, I wonder where they are right now. What do they have to say about this serious allegation? Here you have a man who who took an oath to protect the United States, giving away classified information to a country that is hostile to the United States. Somebody can argue that that's an act of treason. Somebody can argue, you know, if these allegations are established as true, that this is an impeachable type of offense. You know, this is an offense that is worthy of this man being removed from office. And ultimately, I hope that that's what happens to Donald Trump. 
you know, if these allegations are true, you know, if, the, if it's true that this man was in collusion with these Russians, if it's true that he revealed this classified information to the Russians, he doesn't deserve to be president. He should be impeached. And every responsible person in the Congress needs to be moving in that direction if these allegations are found to be true. This man needs to resign in disgrace if these allegations are true. Because here you have this man jeopardizing alliances that the United States has formed with other people, other nations, to fight against ISIS. Because of this blunder, it may be more difficult for the United States to gather this kind of information to detect these kinds of potential threats from groups like ISIS, thereby jeopardizing American lives. This is a man who took an oath to protect the American people from enemy, you know, in the Constitution, from enemies foreign and domestic. But because of his recklessness, because of his ego, American lives can be at stake. And it's things like this that just make you wonder. You know, as I pointed out in one of my early videos after Donald Trump was elected, it makes you wonder if this man is the Manchurian candidate for the Russians. I mean, this, this is a disgrace. I mean, this is a disaster. You know, this is something that's unheard of. Like in my brief time on this earth, you know, as an adult, I haven't heard of anything this scandalous where the United States is giving away highly, you know, the president of the United States is giving away highly classified information to an enemy. If any other person in government did what Donald Trump allegedly did, they would be brought before a criminal court and tried for various types of offenses. This is an outrage. And then you have his national security advisor, McMaster, if I'm not mistaken, that's his name. This man gets out there and basically says that no classified information was provided to the Russians. You know, this man is basically falling on his sword for Donald Trump you know, basically putting his own integrity on the line to protect this scumbag Donald Trump. When, you know, according to these news reports, former and current government officials say that this is the case, that Donald Trump revealed highly classified information to the Russians. I mean, that alone should really make people think about the validity of the allegations of collusion between Trump and the Russians. I mean, the fact that during the campaign, Donald Trump was basically encouraging foreign powers to give more information, to release more of uh, Hillary Clinton's emails. I mean, under any other circumstance, this man would not even be president. So tell me what y'all think. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.